Good morning everyone. We are going to resume my hardcore and time lapse Minecraft. Um, for those of you just joining the playthrough and don't feel like going to the beginning, the reason why I'm speeding this up to four times the original speed is because normal speed is too slow. Two times the speed is still too slow, but eight times the speed is way too fast, and at that point, you couldn't even tell that I had moved cobblestone from the chest into my inventory, so I could take it downstairs to the mine to be smelted in the furnaces. So, this four times the speed is a great compromise, and also, I'm not a fan of these Minecraft playthroughs on YouTube where the person ends the video and they just started like a new world. And then in their second old episode, they're like, Hey, welcome back guys. I just did a little bit of work. And then they got like a metropolis and a huge nether structures all pimped out. So... This is a good compromise. You will get to see every single step of my hardcore game. And um, my current main objective in the deep mines is to find some more diamonds. Preferably one of each tool, a pickaxe, shovel, a woodsman axe and uh, maybe a sword <clears throat> and then on the surface once I have scaled up the cows and um, the wheat farm I should be able to enchant those diamond tools which will allow me to work through this mess even faster so, um, I am going to try to conquer the nether in a way that I reach a fortress and I can deal with the monsters there. <clears throat> but I'm in no rush to do that. This is my chill playthrough. If I want to spend all day fishing, I will. But I still have to um, scale up my farming operation first. Let's feed the cows. And then I have some terraforming to do. <clears throat> See, I have to take care of this hill on the western portion of this continent. There's that creeper crater from a few episodes ago. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to try to mark out more terraforming guidelines. Future me is going to thank present me for um, future proofing the area to already make it clear and beautiful for any structures I may feel compelled to erect. There is a lot of junk around here that I need to clear out. And I think this is a part 
of the continent where once I clear it out maybe I can put up like a lighthouse or something <clears throat> This day is almost over, so I think I shall run inside and I might do some work in the basement since the weather is nice, but at first I want to feed and pet the doggies. And once I build the main base with the nether portal and the enchantment table, I'll move one of the dogs over. So that we can always have a doggy to pet. Alright. So I think I'm going to expand the basement in this direction. The wider open the area I can make this, the easier it'll be for me to um, plan and visualize where I'm going to dump all my crap when I come in here after a mining or a farming or terraforming session. So I will, once I farm enough cows to have leather for an item frame, be placing down a lot of chest in categorical organized fashion. Like take this sandstone for example, I will have to group that with um, the andesite and the diorite and the granite because um, they can be <clears throat> um, crafted into polished or decorative blocks that I could use to build with and in that same category I could also put the smooth stones and the cobbled deep slate since I can make bricks out of the deep slate. Smooth stone is also a building material. I would not classify wood among them. Actually, I'm going to store all the wood by itself. So I'm going to extend this land bridge for both purposes of <coughs> Having a road that can also serve as a shell for a rail line if I want to build one underneath it. But also, I can double this up as a sugarcane farm. <clears throat> so that's nice. When it comes time for me to harvest the cows, I can just simply run out to that land bridge and um, have a bunch of paper ready. So I'm going to extend this wheat farm and of course my stone hoe is going to break but that's fine. I'll just get started on the seeds here. And then we will try to do some light harvesting, but I'm just going to head into the pen and feed the babies again. And the good news is I have been emptying my wheat inventory in breathing the cows so far. Um, that just means there's been so many of them 
that it might be almost time to slaughter a small batch. Just so I could start putting up the enchantment table and their respective bookcases. First I will see if I can find any diamond in here. But the more I use these regular stone axe on this cobbled deep slate, the more compelled I am to devote the next episode to clearing out and building up my main base for the enchantment table and other portal. But at the same time, when I terraform above the main road leading um, just past the stairway to the mines, I need to think about how I am going to um, secure and access that. My first instinct is maybe to take all the sandstone and just um, throw up a tower around it. So that sh could save me the trouble of moving all the sandstone to its own storage area just to hoard it. I suppose I, I could go ahead and use that. I do think that I want to access the nether and have a full set of diamond tools by Thanksgiving. I'm not so sure about the armor. Maybe we will get lucky with the tools and find enough diamond to make armor. But I won't hold my breath. Alright. Let me, um, I think I will go back upstairs now that I have restocked my tools. I need to finish that wheat farm. Run out there with some sand and extend the land bridge slash sugarcane garden ever so slightly now I need to craft another hole so I can extend the garden here and here And now the extension is complete. I might have room for one or two more. Maybe one more. So first let's see if I can get some leather added to my inventory. Um, nine leathers is one, uh, two, three bookcases. And I need 9, 18, 27 bookcases to have a nice U shape around the enchantment table. So, that's going to be a lot of books. Anyway, we are at day 56. I want to thank you for sticking with me this far. Turn in next time as I breed more cows and extend the wheat farm, get more wood, and terraform this lovely rolling hill down to nothing. Until then, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.